I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian with Trilogy International, and today I'm going to be talking about environmental modification for cats with feline idiopathic cystitis, otherwise known as FIC. Now when I say environmental modification, I simply mean changing your cat's indoor environment so that it reduces stress and provides additional physical and mental stimulation. Studies have shown that proper environmental modification can reduce symptoms of FIC in up to 80% of cats with recurrent FIC, and it may obviate the need for drug therapy in many cases. Now with FIC, the first thing to address is the litter box. Your goal is to make the litter box a quiet, pristine place for your cat to eliminate. Nothing should discourage your cat from visiting the litter box several times a day. Anything that discourages the use of a litter box may have adverse effects in a cat that has been diagnosed with FIC. If you have multiple cats, the standard recommendation is one litter box per cat plus one box extra. Try and think if any episodes of FIC happened in conjunction with changing box type, box locations, or litter type. All of these factors can cause a cat to reject its box. Cats generally prefer more space than the average house or apartment provides. You can increase space by adding vertical space, by adding climbing frames, platforms, raised walkways, or shelves. The physical environment should include opportunities for climbing, scratching, hiding, and resting undisturbed. Cats also seem to um, prefer to view their surroundings from elevated vantage points, so the use of hammocks, platforms, and window seats may appeal to some of them. Environmental modification also includes providing cats with the resources and interactions to simulate the activities they would encounter in the wild. Cats often enjoy playing with toys, especially toys that are small, move, and mimic prey characteristics, such as the toys that intermittently release food during play, laser light pointers, or feathered fishing pole toys. Some veterinarians have had success with the plug-in feline pheromone sprays. The idea behind this is that the pheromone spray reduces stress by reducing a cat's need to engage in urine marking behavior. These are relatively inexpensive and worth a try in conjunction with the methods already mentioned. Inner cat conflict is often present in households where multiple cats are housed together indoors. Conflict arises three ways. One, because of a perceived threat to the cat's overall status in the household. Two, because of conflict between animals in the household. And three, because, um, because of conflict with cats outside the house. Sometimes your only sign of inner cat conflict is an episode of FIC. So the goal is to reduce conflict to a more manageable level for the cats that are involved. If you're experiencing inner cat conflict, provide a separate set of resources, um, food, water, bedding, toys, for each cat, preferably placed in locations where the cat can use them without being seen by other animals. With perseverance and a little detective work finding out what makes your cat tick, you can minimize the reoccurrence of feline idiopathic cystitis. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Sarah and I hope this video has been helpful. Bye.